We've got cloud cover out there. We're going to start in central Utah. This is a live view of Oak City. So the West Desert tapping into clouds. The sun is going down and I should tell you, can you believe this? Sunsets at 6 p.m. on the dot today. That's wild. These days are getting longer and longer in a month. It'll be 732. Hard to believe it's going quickly. I said that to Brian yesterday. I was like, I can't believe February is going so fast. This is a view of northern Utah where the cloud cover is so evident from Hiram Reservoir as you look towards the mountains. Such a a pretty shot though. Clouds on the move and they're an indicator that change is brewing. An unsettled pattern will take over. We're not looking at a tremendous amount of moisture right away, but we will notice the shift. Southwesterly flow helped filter those clouds into northern and central Utah. And now we've got a system on the way. It's a weak disturbance, but it could bring the potential for a little bit of wet weather to the northern mountains. Temperatures right now in the 30s and 40s along the Wasatch Front, the basin at 39, 45 in Delta, 46 in Hanksville, and upper 50s in St. George. As soon as we lose just the smallest bit of daylight, temperatures start to fall and they're doing that right now along the Wasatch Front getting into the 30s in the next several hours with mostly cloudy skies by ABC 4 News at 10 we will hit 38. That's still fairly mild. At times that cloud cover can act like a blanket lock in those mild temperatures. and We're going to see that tonight. Futurecast shows us that approaching system. Here we are as we put this into motion. You're able to see that it comes in and brings some slight light showers to the western Uintas and possibly the Cottonwoods. As it sweeps through northern Utah, flattens that ridge of high pressure, we see the potential for some spotty showers into Wednesday morning. Valley's not expected to get much, but don't rule out maybe a sprinkle. Really not banking on it, but the potential's there. Later Wednesday, northwestern corner of the state, and maybe a shower as we get through the evening. Mountain snow holds steady, and then we roll into Thursday. And Thursday's a little more potent when it comes to that cold front and the wet weather that's going to sweep in with it. Here we are at 6 a.m. The model puts down mountain snow and some valley rain with our snow level staying between 5 and 6,000 feet as that system comes on through. And it does drop a little bit of snow as far south as the I-70, I-15 corridor. Keep things active. It's going to be spotty as we get later into Thursday. We get another round for the mountains, noticeable by early Friday morning. And then it's out of here and we quiet down a bit. Only for Saturday, though, because an active pattern is brewing. Here we are into Saturday morning and afternoon. And you see the cloud cover, but we're dry. Snow potential favors the north northern mountains as we get through Thursday night, but we could see precip as far south as Beaver County. So heads up there. As we look at the big picture, it shows that progressive pattern. Here's disturbance number one, then disturbance number two, rolling into Thursday and Friday. Saturday gets quiet as we have high pressure that sneaks in. A little bit of a system comes on through. But then as we roll into Sunday, we get the chance of additional wet weather in northern Utah and a very active pattern out in the west, meaning into next week. The potential for wet weather will hold on for different portions of the state. This low looks like it could dig in and favor southern Utah. We'll see what happens. We're still several days away. Regional forecast shows those numbers, 30s, 40s, and 50s. Take your pick for Valentine's Day. That's how much we love you. We'll give you choices here. 40s and 50s on the eastern side of the state, 57 in St. George. As we zoom in, you're able to see your mountain valleys. Notice those numbers in the 30s and 40s with the chance of some light snow showers for the Wasatch back. That's possible. 40s throughout central Utah. And we've got those 50s down south. Now, if you are making plans for Valentine's Day in St. George. Here's a breakdown of those temperatures warming up into the mid 50s with a little more sunshine than what we're seeing for the Wasatch Front. Speaking of, there's that St. George seven day showing that warming trend getting into the 60s looking really nice. And then we go to northern Utah. 30s and 40s for your Valentine's Day forecast with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. The Wasatch Front has that active pattern. These aren't huge storms, but this Unsettled pattern means we're getting weak disturbances, and there's a chance. There's always a chance. There's a chance. Yeah. We'll take it. Yeah.